Oh, well, hello. I have the Friday fellow furniture dorks. I'm just ripping here. I'm Teresa at Ray Foam Collection. We've been we've been standing here debating about this piece and what exactly um, Sue doesn't like my plans with it. So you know. I don't. But, oh my gosh. I blind blind dead. Ay, ay, ay. Apparently, our our attempts to get you better videos is basically blinding us. We're gonna assume you can see us because I can't see. We us. can't see you. No. Tell me um, we are. I know, that's right. Uh, I am Melissa Morrow with Ray Home Staging, yes. and today we are turning this big armoire this into big a old armoire. big old armoire into a coffee bar. Yes, we decided to do something a little outside of the box with pieces that people, as they are, don't usually. I mean, you don't see a lot of armoires anymore. We don't. I mean, well, you see a lot of them for sale. Yeah, because people just and you can get them really cheap. Oh yeah, yeah. Because nobody wants them anymore. Exactly. But... So we want to show what you can do with a great armoire. Um, and turn it into a coffee bar. Now, we happen to be fortunate in this piece. I've had this piece for staging, I'm gonna say, what do you think, eight years now? At least. Maybe, t maybe 10 years. Probably longer. So you got some got use out of it. So we've definitely gotten our use out of this. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, one of the things that I do love about this piece is we have adjustable shelves in here. Very nice. Um, the way this watches. is. And we did lose one. So um, one. we just had one made up. Um, I had a maker do it, but it's super easy. You just need like a one by one and then angle these in here. And for this, we also have a shelf, which it's funny. We've had the shelf in here for like a decade now. <laughs> um, and everybody's always like, where's the shelf? It's right here. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, I guess we do have to take these off because, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry. Right. I'm going to put these up here. It's All really right. heavy. It is. We're gonna see if she can do it. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. All about angles. Hang on, I know. Oh, wait a minute. Sue. Sue, can you care? This is a PG show and I was feeling some bombs about to come out. Let me see the secret, Miss Sue. <laughs> she makes it look so easy. Nobody Try likes it. the show off, I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you, Miss So um, this is great. This is really great when you used to have the old TVs where you wanted it actually to open all the way and the doors hinge back like this. Oh, remember right? when that was a huge TV? Yeah, remember yeah. when this Whoa. was your biggest TV and you had the, the slides here so you could raise it and have your VCR shelf because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what we had, VCRs. If you were kids, if you don't know what that is, Google it. We right. never had Google either. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually take the doors off mm -hmm. so that it is no. Sue wants to leave them on. In my opinion, nobody wants them with the doors on it. And we're gonna use the doors for another project, another project which will probably be our Monday, Makeover Monday. Yeah. So, so I have to run around, around all the morning. I messy coffee bar. Well, people Ms. like to show off their fancy coffee bars. Exactly. So. Miss Sue's so. gonna be sassy about this. Teresa, do you wanna take the hardware off? I got you, I got you. Let me grab the drill. So what I'm going to talk about while she's taking out the hardware, I'm going to talk about what we're going to do. So we are going to be using glasses. Sorry, <laughs> we're going to be using Dixie mud to fill the holes. Um, it's kind of like spackle. I was yes. Suggested about that as well. If you're going to turn it into a coffee bar, which What's will that? have a coffee maker inside, yes, it will need a place for a hole. So we have a hole already built in. Which hole are you upper and up? lower. So my plan is to put the shelf low. So we're gonna put it on the second notch here. So we're gonna have the low shelf here and your coffee bar can go up top. Your coffee bar can go up top and it'll feed through or you can have it go behind because there's actually room behind the shelf that you can use the, the hook. Apparently there's drill issues. I don't well, know. it wasn't the right bit. So. Oh, it was too big of a bit? Yeah. Um, so anyway, the Dixie Mud is a lot like Spackle. So um, we're gonna use this to fill our holes and then we'll be able to paint over it because this piece is dark and it is stained. Um, and it actually still has a little bit of a waxy finish to it. We're gonna paint right over that. If we were painting this a light color, like a white or a light gray, then we would need to prime it. And so I would probably recommend slick stick on this if I were priming it. Um, would just boss work or? boss would work. I just would recommend slick stick because it has a little bit of a waxy finish. Gotcha. Um, but we're not going to do that because we're going to stick with a dark color today. Ooh, and, cool. and so we're going to use um, Dixie Bell's Antebellum. And the reason I'm using Dixie Bell, I'm choosing a dark color because I don't want to prime it. I don't have time for that on live TV. And frankly, we sell a lot of the, the more rich 
um, coastal colors than we do on white and gray. So, ironically. So, um, as a matter of fact, Teresa just brought in a Bohemian Blue, which was DIY paint, but this antebellum is actually very similar to the Bohemian Blue. And she brought it in last night. We put it on Facebook today and it sold right away on our um, ravehomecollection.com page. So I am gonna paint it in this and I'm not gonna worry about it bleeding and we will distress. So you'll see a little bit of the wood when we do some sanding around the edges. And at this point, I think I'm trying to- I should have prepped beforehand. But well, you know. we didn't. I wanted to show taking the doors off because I wanted to show what we did before. I am gonna let you watch them and their com comedian <laughs> stack of errors for a moment. Taking well, dog over here, trying to unscrew some screws. Well, you know, I grab an apron because I'm realizing be this is not an apron. This is my mask, <laughs> and I have one of our Rave Home Collection dresses on, and I love this dress. So I would prefer not to have it completely coated in antebellum blue. What? What are you saying? Everything I was going to be pink was now, so frankly, that's just my life. All right, so we are literally just trying to show you from beginning to end, which you probably won't see the entire finished product today, but you're going to get an idea of what this started like and what our plan is for it to be finished. Who the heck uses flatheads? I do know. Apparently people in India. Yes. Yeah, that's how this was. Where this was manufactured. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this Bohemian Blue. Um, this is a good one for scrub too because it has a little bit of damage where it had a little bit of leakage. Um, where we get the damaged pieces, not you. One door down. Hopefully. Yes. We're not all the way down, so we're good. That's not really can drop it. And of course, I am going to use my Klingon brush. I have an S50, which sadly we are still sold out of. An S30 works fine. Um, a nice big round would be good as well. Ideally, since we're painting such a large surface, you really want a large brush because it'll make the job go that much more quickly. And why do you like the Klingons, Miss Melissa? I like the Klingons because they clean themselves. Yes, they do. Uh, 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 uh. What? Don't even get me started about Klingons. Oh, no. All right. I love them. I think they paint well. I think they clean up great. But by golly, if you're going to dry your paint in there, then do the proper cleaning. Miss Sue is somebody, wearing her sassy pants today. She, I have my sassy pants on. <laughs> she is very sassy today. Maybe my husband on. would get along great today. He's getting sassy today, too. Sassy Whenever he wears his red shirt, I always call it his sassy red shirt. And you can just tell his attitude changes when he wears it. It just gets all lippy. You know what? You should tell him. That's a big Star Trek fan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and red shirts are always expensive. Oh, I like that. He didn't look so dang hot in it. I would tell him just that. So, yeah, as far as prepping for this piece, as you'll notice, we really, well, we didn't really do anything, including cleaning it off, which you probably it should have given a little dust. It needs cleaning, and I see Melissa has started already, painting. Yeah. You do see that layer of, of dust painting on the bottom and everything. Painting in, over with it. But you know what? If I know Melissa, we're going to distress this, and the cobwebs sure. will distress right out of there. And I'm using my crosshatch pattern, which you'll see more of when I move to the front, but right now, obviously, they're in the front, so. Um, yep, got to look at my big butt. So how are we? Are you... Are we planning on the front, I mean, the inside of it at some point? But right now we're just kind of doing the outside and getting some paint yeah, on it. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I kind of... I'm like the natural. It's a good shade. It really is, except for the only problem we have is we don't have these matching, but, you know, we could probably paint these. Yeah. And maybe the shelf. And just make it like a pop And make inside. it a pop inside. Mm -hmm. Because really the inside is in great condition. Yeah, I agree. Oh, this thing has survived so well in our staging. Right. I mean, I, it's been upstairs, downstairs. It's been... Trucked all around the world. This thing has held up so yeah. well. And you know, our moth, that's you know, they're they're no joke. And I will say that I have owned this since I had my staging business in Charleston. Yep. And I used it for many years in Charleston. So that's why it's not even just that it survived the business down here, it survived it there too. Where we had much less meticulous movers. Alright, my butt is going to be out of your way momentarily. Mine too. And then you might actually get to see what this piece looks like <laughs> without me blocking it. Shoot, it's big enough. We could probably crawl inside there and shut the doors and be fine. Oh no, I don't even want to know that, Miss Sue. It is. It's a big, giant coffin. Pretty much. Oh, What's up? Hey, it's all the time. That's a good thing. Alright, we are out. Got that? I got it. That's why she didn't want the doors. Okay, so I'm gonna hide a body in there, but now I can't. Hold it, hold it, people. Woo. All right, I gotta dust off a little bit of cobweb because I'm. All right, so who we got what? 
watching today. Hello and welcome to today. And if you are watching us on YouTube, which is not live, but the recorded version on YouTube, then please like and subscribe us because we do all kinds of DIY live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. And pretty soon, when we get to a thousand subscribers, whoop, whoop, which we're almost there, today we should break 800. That's awesome. So Thanks there. to you all. So we're almost there, and then we'll be able to actually do live on Facebook, as well. I mean, on YouTube as well. That's awesome. Okay, oh, so. Colorado. I don't think I've painted it. Have you looked in here yet? No. We can look more shelves. Things. Except for, oh, that means we don't have to paint that. Nice. We have more of those. Yeah, Nerf darts. Anybody need a Nerf dart? Seriously? What the heck? <laughs> I don't think yeah, I can like in there. So, yeah, I tried and tried and tried and tried to get today to be Fab Furniture Friday chair painting edition. <laughs> <sighs> Crap, it didn't work. You do have She's a pile of chair. I'm hip to her drive. Yep, yep. So I just have a little metal spatula and I'm gonna take some Dixie mud and just like you were spackling the walls, I'm just gonna sort of push it right into the holes to get rid of those hole marks. This reminds me of the old days color um, peacock. Yeah, not bad. Back paint peacock? Yeah. That is another one of our favorite. Yes. We used to sell that at Linden and Rust, and it was great. It is. There's a lot of good paints out there. There, there are. are. The, only, the only negative I have about that, um, I do love it, but one of the reasons I decided not to sell it is because when it sits for very long, the ingredients smell really bad. That's, I have had that paint go bad. It's, it actually sours. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. And I would imagine ultimately with any paint that's going to happen, but it did seem to happen But it seemed quicker. to happen very quickly. And yeah. so I don't know if it was the more natural ingredients yeah, could um, be. or what the case was, but I'm going to say it didn't take, it didn't take very long. It only took a couple months and it would, the, the, technically the paint was good. Mm -hmm. It was totally usable. Right. Just, it was just very unpleasant yeah. to work with it. And there's some colors that we don't use very often, um, but customers like to do it in our paint classes. Yeah. And we don't want to open paint that smells bad because, well, you know, it's just not really good. It's not a good selling feature. It's not a good selling feature. But the paint itself and their color selection was really beautiful. Is it just me or is your arm tired? That's a lot of paint. That's a lot of surface. It's a lot of surface. <laughs> it's a big paint. It is. I don't think I've painted it. How beautiful is this color, though? I, I love it. I love it with the dark. It's going to look so cool. It's a really distressed. beautiful jewel tone. Yeah. And it's this time of year for the nice, good, deeper blues versus the summery coastals. Yeah, and opinion. even though most people don't change the furniture out in their house. Yeah. It's like, uh, hey, it's summer. I'm going to buy a summer console. Yeah, it is, it is nice to... You know, I'm just gonna throw a little paint around this work so I don't accidentally or paint on um, tape around them. Not paint. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. throw some tape around it so I don't paint around it. Wow, uh, it's Friday around here, you can tell. What does Friday mean to a retail store? It doesn't mean that suddenly the week is over. Say for retail, it doesn't mean a dang thing. Well, like the week begins. That's true. Where did you go? You're just staying outside. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna like paint that. I just wanna let that dry real quick. Gotcha. So what is y'all's plans for the weekend besides coming out and seeing us here in the store? Because we are open Saturday 10 to 6, Sunday 11 to 4. And it has been hopping today. Yeah, it was like opening up on a Saturday morning this morning it felt like. It was busy, which we love. We've already sold some quite extensive what? amounts of furniture already this morning. Yeah, I think our total is going to be a Saturday total today. I believe you're right. I can hear Jack downstairs just wrapping some stuff up. Yes, he is. we got some deliveries we're preparing for. we got a nice big, 
big um, blonde farmhouse table in. Really beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, that thing's huge, Melissa. That's a, what is it? A twelve seater? You think six, six and? Two. It's at least ten. Or five. It's at least ten. It's at least five. On, it's at least eight, four on each side. Okay. At least. It's gorgeous. It's really a similar shape to some of the other ones we've had in here. It's just a hoss. I've not seen them. Just perfect for the holidays. And speaking of holidays, does anybody have any fun plans happening? Um. Wait. Which? What? I don't even know what month it is. Well, I mean, Thanksgiving's coming soon. Oh, yeah, that's what you You started on it before I could get here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I think I like sassy soup. I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> Fluff has made me crazy. Right. What are you doing? Oh, you don't even want to see what was happening over here, then. Oh, no. no I, you don't even want to know. Just, you don't want to know. Some things are better left. Hey, it's better than getting resin in your hair. It's better than primer. When I got fusion resin in my hair the other day? Yeah. That was... That was, that out, Melissa? That was what, Monday night? That was unpleasant. That was... <laughs> that was problematic. Yeah. Alright. Look how pretty this is, though. I'm going to recommend and the dark wood coming through when we distress. Oh, it's cracked right here. It's very noticeable. Okay. Even though we're going to distress it, and it won't be as noticeable. We just go in straight over knobs, drawers, and everything? I see everything. Or what are you thinking? Um, you know, I'd probably take the knobs off in this case. Almost never happens on my launch. Is this on video? Is this being recorded? I don't even believe it. What can we throw them off? Can I do that? Apparently, Teresa can throw them off. I'm going to mix up. I need a hammer or something. That screws it up. Maybe it needs to take off, though. Screws are from the 90s. Oh, wait, there's one. I don't know. Let me just beat the crap out of it. There we go. Oh, that's why they have little plugs back there. Little plugs in there? There's something. I don't know. It was that little weird thing. Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll figure that out that. later. Let's yeah, they got enough. little plugs. Mm -hmm. Do it enough to paint Sweet. it over the holes. So, yeah, we just don't want to dunk up the. The screws. These screws are definitely not reasonable. All right. So, have do you have a coffee bar in your house? Do you want a coffee bar in your house? Am I taking even? Out? Yeah. If someone's got hot, ready, ready coffee, I think I would be holding me on board. Plus, I want to see what's in there. And then I need that three stuff. Interesting. I'm not going to lay flat. Oh. I'm not going to lay. Ish. Okay. Ish. Ish. I love this color. All right. That paint goes on so nicely. Well, and I've been oh. taking Melissa's cross hatching advice because it does give nice coverage too. Like it's a quick, nice. No, you don't coverage. get you don't get streaks. Exactly. I mean, there is some streaking technically because you're adding it, but but it doesn't come out as looking like streaks when you're done. Right, your second it's coat just kind of in Yeah, and it gets rid of what is nor like normally the problem is that you end up with lines and you feel like you have to do a third coat because of the lines, but the cross hatching kind of eliminates that feeling. Right. Let's see. I'm gonna move the camera down because we're going down to the bottom section hello you needed to see that very close look of my forehead and eyebrows did you a nice job on my brows today He's looking into her soul. Yes, he is. Now he's just staring. You know, you're very off camera. He's 
Am I? Oh. You should really come over this. Hi. Way. Okay, let me come over here. Or maybe you should turn the camera on. There we go. Here, I'm going to just kind of bring this over drawer. here. How are we? How's well, that's that a new angle. Can you there see the other stuff? There we go. That's still? better. Okay. Good, good. All right. So there's this. Ooh, hey, buddy, you're awfully close. Right. Probably just as exoskeleton. <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like, the skeleton of a dead long legs. Well, I feel like in Charleston we had a lot of daddy long legs. It's called yeah. a very ancient exoskeleton. Yuck. It's like a fossil now. You know what's funny? Just though? think of it as a fossil. He looks like a fossil. It's just a fossil now. Gross. Look, Teresa's finding fossils in furniture. Gross. That's what I'm going to title this. Teresa finds fossils <laughs> in furniture. I, I find the toys and you find the fossils. Right? I prefer the toys. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, I'm getting on the phone. I can't get on the floor. I'll never get back up. Did anybody watch uh, the video that I posted yesterday on YouTube on building my cat house? Oh, I didn't. You didn't? No, I didn't. I didn't either. Shame, shame, wow. shame, shame. We are losers, Sue. I know it. I didn't even know there was a video. Right, so after three years, about. Oh, well, she's gonna shame me. Yeah. <laughs> after three years of waiting and waiting and waiting, I have a half built cat house. All right. In my backyard. Well, yes, I said cat house. It's like a giant chicken coop that my cats can walk out in. Very cool. Without chickens. It's a cat coop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right under a palm tree, so it'll be very entertaining for them. Oh, that'll be nice. Yes, because our palm tree has rats in it. Oh, that's we got rats. Pleasant. The doves moved out. I was kind of bummed about that. But well, that's probably because of the snakes. Ew! Remind me never to visit your house. What? That's nature. Well, the rats, but no, because the snakes. No, no, no. <laughs> no. We have very wild life, and very, it was all cool with the cats, and that's as far as I was going with nature. The snakes are really good at keeping the rats at bay. No, all oh, the no. And then every now and then a dog or a cat will come in. Very much no. <sighs> Snakes and rats and lions and tigers and bears. What color is that? Um, this is antebellum blue. Antebellum blue. I love that. That's Isn't that pretty? Really, like, pretty? It's really mm -hmm. a rich royal mm -hmm. jewel tone. Love it. And it dries really nice and quick too, which I like. Right. Somebody in one of the forums said the other day they wanted a a jewel tone navy blue. And I'm like, hmm, what the heck is a jewel? And they said they wanted a peacock navy. And I'm like, so that's two maybe things like to me. Maybe a peacock peacock? There you go. And I'm like, what the heck is that? That's, very, dark. that's a very, very dark. Yeah, color. yeah. But it has like a tint of royal to it. And, I and just, I'm like, what the heck is a, like what the peacock heck is a and the navy blue peacock like, navy like blue this. color? And I'm guessing this is what she meant. Okay. But I'm like, somebody needs some color theory because navy and peacock are not even close not to, to each other. The same. They're, no. They're just blues. And a jewel tone blue is not a navy blue, typically. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, sapphire is a jewel tone, mm -hmm. but and it is more of a navy blue, but then it's nothing like peacock. Now my head just explodes. Did you see in the new magazine? I don't know if I can say the name of the magazine, but all the jewel tones are. You can see the name of the magazine. Are they a Veranda. thing now? In Veranda. Oh, I love Veranda magazine. Jewel Tones are on the, is all yeah. the new issue is all about Jewel Tones. When we were at Market, now we didn't go to Market this spring, although Sue and I are going to Market next month. Yeah. Is it next month? Next month we're going to Market. So we are going to Market next month. It is. Yeah, believe me, I consider this a vacation. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> um, I know, I heard all about it. <laughs> yeah, because they serve so much alcohol. At market, um, this isn't the real market though. This is the cash and carry market. Oh, that's true. So there probably won't be any booze. There probably won't be. Well, there'll yeah. probably still be some booze, because we'll still probably go to the main retail because there's the big showrooms are still open. But they're not as giving of their alcohol during as all, all I the bet they're actually more giving because Three they don't have as many people. Hello. Now it's snuck into a concert. So, hello, what? it's free there. What is she getting at? Full uh -oh. tone to market. So anyway, oh yeah, what was I oh, getting yeah. at? Yeah, I forgot the story. We got to booze and market. So we got to booze and market and lost track of everything. Um, no, uh, jewel tones were everywhere when we were at market. Yeah. Um, so they were, the, I shouldn't say everywhere. They were all the higher end booths, so our uttermost and things like that. And then they were trickling down 
into some of the the more affordable prices. That's so we expect works. Jewel, huh? That's how fashion works. Yes. So we That's expect true. Jewel Tones probably in Jacksonville. It'll be another year, realistically. Mm -hmm. Although Aww. in our market, especially like Ponte Vedra and the people who are buying from the beach, are starting to see more of that because it goes so well with our coastal vibe. Yeah, I'll be painting other stuff besides white. So we definitely will see a lot more jewel tones come into the store over the next year for sure. Very nice. And I think this antebellum will be a good, this is gorgeous. a good. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting ready to get sort of green Yeah, I agree. Do you want to paint the shelf and I'll start drawing this okay, when you're done with your? I got all the stuff. Because I've got my side drawing and then I can start drawing. Yep, I've got one more panel on my second coat and I'll do the shelf. Oh no, we weren't gonna paint the shelf, were we? Oh no, no, no. we were just gonna paint the shelf. Never mind. We're keeping the inside natural then. Yep, and it's just gonna we're gonna paint the little shelf holders though, aren't we? We decided no because uh, we got matching shelf holders. We got holders. matching shelves, so we don't have to. We found more affordable options. Oh, yeah. shelf you think? Yeah, we're gonna have to find another shelf. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, we're gonna have to find another shelf. 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 So we might actually finish this piece. We are golden, honey boy. Wow, you guys are getting a big piece to finish in one shot. What the heck? Who are we right now? I mean, what kind of coffee did you have? I don't we not get it I can't it. discuss that. Just the one cup that I that you made me this morning. You know what's helping are these pumpkin You know what's helping? S50s. They are. They're pumpkin strikes that I had in my coffee. Oh, let's try not to knock Equipment, equipment. Whew. See All what right. I tried to do that? You did try. You did make for effort. Ooh, I almost wore that paint. I'm gonna unplug the sander for now, just so you know. Sander is unplugged. So since we're not gonna paint the inside, um, I'm gonna put the shelf in there so you can kind of really get an idea of how yeah. it's gonna be a coffee bar. Ooh, you can get the chance to distress if it dries. That's right. Yeah, we probably don't get to seal it, but we'll get to destroy it. Oh, that's it. true. Yeah. Um, Which that's totally fine. We get our finish done very last. Position, and the know. question is, do we add lighting inside of here? Because that could be really cool if we put a little light in the in oh, the, in the yeah. Well, the coffee bar, I mean, it would make sense to me. And also, do we see? Pencil any coffee wordings in there? Mm. Just throwing that out there. Mm. Stencil coffee wordings inside? Should we? I mean, if it's specifically going to be marketed as a coffee bar, we could still have. I think it should say something like good morning, sunshine, or something. I mean, it's got a pretty little back for that. I run on caffeine and bad decisions. No, 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 I haven't either, and I'm surprised I, was I haven't. I think it was Jaguars, but it's really not. It's a little more. It's deeper. It's I feel. It's a little more blue than green. Yeah. It's, yeah. Jaguars green. Has, Jaguars blue has a little more green in it. Yeah, I would. I would agree with that. The lights. The little lights. We do. And I was thinking something a little more decorative. But I want to try and slam out these little screws in here. Let me put the shelves in. So we can try and find good hardware. Let me put the shop in. Let's what? Get some lights. What lights do we have from our trip to Rome? Do we have any small ones? Small, no. Say that about you. <laughs> I mean, we do have that bucket full of 
But there's no, there's no four. They're the same. But I guess it doesn't have to be. We do have that bucket full of. Uh, Ooh, that is one dusty little. We have a fresh of hardware. But none of it is. I have to get it below this, and then I have to get it back up. You need help? I had to get it today. I had to get it below this this area. Stick in quick second. Oh, what about coffee cup hooks? Oh, that's a good idea too, Miss Sue. Or even a rack across the back with a I mean that can all be done. As we think about it. Let me go see what, Let me see what sconces we have. I'm gonna let you enter Teresa, you entertain them for a minute. Alright, oh wow. So so this horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says, hey, why the long face? Get it? Help me, please, somebody come back and talk to me. All right, anyway, so, I just heard crickets. There, I'll sit right here. Okay, good. So I'll I'm pretend just, like I'm talking. I told my horse joke, and then I heard crickets. Well, you know, it was a horse joke. It was a good joke. It was, was a it? clean, good was joke. Really? You wanna hear it? I just did, heard did you it. already hear it? And you're not laughing? It. Well, Are you, you know. laughing on the inside? Well, she's laughing on the inside. At me and not with me? I'm trying not to say that part. Uh -huh. what do you I know what you're thinking. I wish I could put these back here. I know what you're thinking. All right, settle down there, cowgirl. Although yeah, that's, I think that's a bit it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. elaborate. Well, I mean, but it's fancy. I mean, it actually doesn't look terrible. It's mm -hmm. fancy coffee. Mm -hmm. Fancy coffee. Starbucks, Schmarbucks. Put the espresso machine in there. Right? And the Keurig. Not a Keurig. Keurigs are for sissy llamas. <laughs> but real coffee. <laughs> I love you, Miss Sue. All right. Coffee is important. It's got to be good. I know. You are right about that. Right. I know. Oh, Apparently, I got to go be tall somewhere. I'm going to take my fossil and make him not face me. Oh, you're not taking that. Yet. I don't want him looking at me. I swear he's looking into my soul. All right, I'm going to do a little more drying here on this other side. I can get this to reach over. Okay, so are you guys dumpster diving this weekend? Hang on, nobody's looking at our comments. Christy's watching. Hi, Christy. Cindy is watching. Hi, Cindy. Thank you all, Wendy, for watching. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate y'all. All right. What do you think about that inside of it? Dang it. I like, I like where you're going with this, though. That's, that's a good, good thought. I like it. Sue's lights might have to be the best lights, even though I wanted decorative lights. Right. Or they're just like little pop lights. The only, only problem with those lights is I noticed the uh, on-off switch is cut. Oh. No. I might have to go to Lowe's. Darn, I know how much you hate Lowe's. Wait, do you hate Lowe's really? Or no? No, no we hate Lowe's. You actually like Lowe's. I don't mind going Lowe's. We hate home people. I like it. I just, I just gotta make sure I stay focused. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I am in any store. We just painted the shelf. Do I need it? Can you get smooth things? Yeah, you can't do it. Look, I'm doing what our politicians do, and I'm saying what you're seeing with your own eyes is not what's happening. Stop that, stop that right now. goes on so buttery smooth and it dries so nice. This color. Really does. I mean there was no priming to this piece. No. And now Nothing. again, if if this were a lighter color, yes. we for sure would have had to prime. Oh yeah, the dark wood. And honestly you take a chance with a piece of this old with the tannins coming through. Yeah, it could still theoretically bleed, but yeah. it's not we didn't like it really shouldn't appear that much on here with as deep a color as this is. But even if it does, we do the rest it. We're going to distress it anyway, yeah. So, you know, if someone that bleeds through, it's totally fine. It'll look like we did it on purpose. But if you have a problem with that, you for sure need to find And we have all the products here available for all of those needs. So, online or here in the store. And a recommendation. One of the reasons we don't like to prime things on camera just so you know, yeah. because it's not that we're anti-priming, because to be honest, when we're painting things and we're not on camera, 
We typically do prime. Like almost everything. Oh, apparently I might be doing a Glenn Close here. <laughs> oh. Well, hello, lady. <laughs> um, I don't think the camera goes down that far, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind oh, of. sorry. Okay. Oh. Well, my yes, thighs yes. are fat enough you couldn't see anything. We'll go with that thing. Stop that. Um, anyway, besides that, uh, the reason we don't prime things on camera is because for a primer to truly work, it is supposed to sit and dry overnight. Yeah, not forced, but not actually Not forced. Legit, so. It really needs to sit and do its job. And you should have two good coats, and the first coat should dry for at least an hour, and then the second coat should dry for at least four hours. And oh, you yeah. can see that that would be really tricky to do in a one hour live show. We're good. We're not that We're, good. We don't have the ability to make time go by fast. No. Cameras watch and say hi. 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 Yeah, we don't have the ability to make time alter no how we want. Nope. We would love that. Wouldn't that, where would you go? I know what my first thought would be, but then. If I could do anything in time? Mm -hmm. Forward. Forward? Or backward. Like what you think might happen forward, that you are anticipating, or what you know has already happened backwards. Wow. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Getting deep up in here. Well, for sure, I would love to go to like um, Victorian England and see the fashion. Very cool. That would be for sure. Or like um, Louis France time, like when fashion really all the first started. Is just all the clothing was insane. Was that Louis the Fourth? Or is that Louis the first? When fashion really started in France, uh, when Versailles was first built, whoever built Versailles, the Louis that built Versailles, right. I would love to see Versailles being built, and I would love to see the fashion revolution in France back then. That would be that phenomenal. Would be awesome. But I would not want to be a peasant. So you just got to be super clear about that. Right. Because that wouldn't be very fun. Because I don't think peasants had a very good life back in that time. I don't think so either. Especially not on the loop. Because he wasn't a very big you know. That makes my answer very, very minimal and shallow and big. What I just do you think? want to go back and meet Andy Warhol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought he was phenomenal. Plus, it was in my time frame in the 80s, so. How far back did you want to go? Because you could meet him back in the 60s when he was tripping. I mean, Woodstock would have been cool to see. That's the year I was born, so that would have been kind of cool to to witness. I don't know. I'm more, uh, I'm less geared towards history, which is just, I don't know why. I mean, history's fantastic. I just, it's in the past. But I should know more than I do. But I'm just into music and art. Thank you for the little feature. I guess you should repeat it. I am. You are absolutely not right. Just So much as political. Right. Him I'm not so much interested in, in from a political perspective because he wasn't a very good king. But what he changed in fashion was amazing. If you if you love fashion, and I think you can watch this on Netflix or HBO, I'm not sure. Um, if you can watch the series Versailles. You watched that with me, right? Yeah, yeah. If you can watch the series Versailles, if you love fashion, that was, I mean, the show wasn't about fashion, but there was a lot, it was about building up the building of Versailles, really, um, and his inspiration. But it goes through, it's several seasons, and it goes through sort of the revolution when that was being built, and the fashion revolution as well. That's awesome. Amazing. The stories are really good and the actors are really good also. I particularly love the guy who played his brother. I don't know. Like, I'm not good with names of actors. 
but the guy who played his brother in that was amazing. I love him so much. Um, but that was a great show. Can I just say that whatever it was that you used to cover those little holes and awesome job. Yeah, that was the Dixie Mud. Great yeah. job with that. Can it was Dixie Mud. I don't even notice it. I, I was expecting to see a little dimple or something. And I even know where the they were, were and I'm looking right at it and you can't see it. And you didn't even say them down. I didn't even. Mm -hmm. You just did that good really job. You didn't plop it on there like a big lumpy bump. You didn't plop it on there like a big lumpy bump. That's true. I love the technical terms that you use, Miss Sue. Well, you know, if you don't use the technical terms and you're just not doing it right, you got that. No, like, the color looks so good with the wood. It. it does. It looks really beautiful with the wood. This was literally two minutes before we were live. You painted the, the, yeah. the shelf again. I did not at all. Uh, here we go with some. Yes, again. She's going to whip out the rag. That's right. Alternative facts. Fake news. Dress these girls up. You can't take them anywhere. You can't dress them up either. That's true. Same here. Yeah, you really can't dress them up at all. I, I, Me, I, I love clothes. I'm a clothes player. I used to be until all my clothes turned into paint clothes. No. I don't really care. All right. I think it's probably not going to take that. Uh, that was the best thing about the side of the I don't know. The clothes here is now I get like one of everything in my size. Exactly. Thank you, Miss. I order exactly what I like and I order it in my size. Perfect. All right, are you second coating that? I have yeah, second coat of all of this. And I got second coat most of my size. Yeah, I did that too. I mean, honestly, we're almost ready to distress. I'm ready to distress. I'm excited to see it. I think we just need to give it a dry a little bit more. I can do the drawers at least right yeah, now, I okay. think. I can do the drawers then. Um, let me show you a little distress and I'll do one drawer without and are one drawer. Are you doing a wet distress or are you going to nope. use it? I'm going to do my favorite. You know, I cleaned that out the other day. I have never, ever seen so much stuff compacted into one little tiny place before. Thanks, Miss All Phil. paint. Yeah. And she just yelled at me. I wasn't yelling at you. I was just letting you know. My feelings are a little hurt. That there was, was a lot of stuff that I got caught. Really? Because I think that we are a lot meaner when we're off camera than that. That's true. Oh, God. So true. Why do I feel like it's just me on here? Don't, don't look directly at me. All right. Oh, what are you doing? Did you guys see the video I posted this morning oh, on Instagram? Lord. Should I wait at the sanding? I'm going to wait at the sanding. Did you see that Jamie Ray is practically making my name a drinking game? She is. She's like I know, and I was trying to think of a funny name that you should call her by mistake, just as a little joke, just to be funny, like Jimmy Dean instead of Jamie Ray or something, just to be cute. <laughs> I mean, there was that time I called her, was it, I called it Zamie and Jeb? Oh, Zamie and Jeb, yeah. But that, you was know, just you that was just me not being able to talk. for a second and then um, coming back to life, yeah. Yeah, so if you haven't watched it, I screenshotted it on YouTube. It's so funny. And, and we, were, we were just sitting there watching it, and I said, oh, they're going to stencil, they're going to mention us. And Sue's like, nah. And I'm like, just wait. And then they were like, oh, we're swirling. We're getting better at the swirling. And then somebody asked about the swirling. And then she started talking. And then she's like, Melissa Morrow, Melissa Morrow, Melissa Morrow. So, not Monica. Yeah, I'm not, not going to forget. I'm not going to forget. Just it's call like, Monica. So then you guys decided that should be a drinking game. Anytime you says your name, take a shot of something. All right. <laughs> It sounds like I do a lot of drinking. I really do like no drinking. It sounds like we all should do a lot of drinking. Yeah, should. Yeah. Should. I'm working my way up to it. Come on, man. <laughs> you do some drinking. Right. If somebody gives you a good bourbon, you will definitely drink it. You and Patrick I should have a bourbon my, uh, together. I drank my this last week, so. This went right down to the natural That's flow. totally cool. I love it there. That's neat.
Yeah. And we'll just get some nice knobs. I mean, at the end of the day, we probably could still use the ones that were in there. We don't paint them, though. Oh, they're they're just gold with that. I don't know how. Wait, they're just, just fun knobs. Yeah, because they look these like mix and match. So more boho. I gotta look at it from the back again. What? I gotta look at it from the back again. It looks gorgeous with the wood. It, it does. Is. So pretty. So let me tell you, this piece is solid. It is well made. Again, we had it for at least a decade in staging, right. and there really hasn't been any scratches or dings. And if you could see what our guys do to furniture on a regular basis, <laughs> you would know that this piece is really solidly well made. Yes. Let's get it a lot, a lot, a lot of houses. And just in its natural state. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. All right, I think this front is fine. Put the for you. Okay, ready for the Favorite thing to do. I think this side really needs to sh put, put this right over here, and I think we're good on this side. All right. Do you want to pull this under that? What you want, sweeties? Hello, Hello. 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 What? No, I meant the front side. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to adjust the camera so that they can see? You guys want to see? Let's watch some Because we're not on the floor anymore. Yeah, but is this, could you get here? I think it's just a little bit yeah. there, but that should be good. Yeah, it's just in that crack. I can't. Okay, okay. I'll break the sand and get it. All right. <laughs> Great thing. Yes, work smarter, not harder. Make them oversized sliders, not them little tiny ones. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yes. That's where I made a mistake. Wait. I just see a little bit of lightness and just some couch. Yep. Yeah, you want to make sure, I mean, it doesn't have to be bone dry, but enough that when you're sanding, you don't end up smearing wet paint all around with your sander. That's just going to make a mark. All right, the only places left are like a crack, so okay. we're not going to be able to. Your sander will not hit that.
going to, we could maybe put some in the corners or something, wax it and put some pieces, some, some dark in the corners might be pretty. And like you see all this, this is all gonna come off when it's sealed. You yeah, always get nervous about light. the dust, but. Yeah, it's, um, when it's sealed, all of this will become a uniform color. And it'll bring back that pop of the actual original color. Well, I did not think we were gonna get this piece done. I am. All it needs like, is the rest of the stress. And yeah, sealed and... just a little bit of distress and then a top coat and you know, maybe we'll do some dark wax in the corners. I don't know. No, yeah. We 34 minutes for crying out loud. What? 34 minutes. Really? We're not even at like our whole hour? According to my phone. Are you sure? Thing. Golly. You check your phone up there. This it felt like an hour. Yeah, it really felt like an hour. That's crazy. Let me see. Hmm, apparently, we're going to see. Do we talk? Code? It is, yeah, it's almost an hour. Yeah, it's okay. So anyway, um... If you loved this project, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel which is on um, YouTube, you look for Rave Home Staging. I did change the name to Rave Home Collection and Staging, oh, but nice. the URL is still Rave Home Staging. So okay. you should be able to find us if you look for Rave Home Collection or if you look for Rave Home Staging. Okay, and as always, we appreciate y'all's support. It's, you're the reason we do this and you're the reason that we keep on. Um, and we just love your ideas. So if you have anything that you think you'd like to see us paint or craft or makeover, Yeah, us give know. us comments. And um, tell your friends because we're your friends. almost to a thousand subscribers Woo! and we just need like another hundred. And then I get pizza and champagne. That's right. She wants. Oh, she you, said that's right. I totally just threw that out there again. You totally want her to have pizza and champagne, right? She doesn't want me to have pizza and champagne. It's right? not a combination, but. I know. Oh, it's like brushing your teeth after orange juice, but mm. I mean, I'm game. All right, guys. Thank you so thank much for you. today. Thank you for joining us. See we you. will see you on Monday for Makeover Monday. Makeover Monday. And you will see what we do with the doors from this piece. Yes, absolutely. Another project. Right. And stop in and, and see it this weekend. That's right. Yeah. Stop in and see it. It'll be available for sale. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Bye. Peace out.